Number 13. Complete each of the following equations by adding the missing species, and the missing species for this equation, this nuclear reaction, is this question mark right here. So it seems like big bad uranium's coming to town, capital U, uranium. And since it's so unstable, it, you know, just transforms into three different things. Three specific different things. I do see that I have a capital, a capital four. Ooh, Christina. I do see that I have a number four in front of this notation, but we'll get there in a little bit. Now we want to find out what this question mark is. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to erase the question mark and I'm going to put the actual notation boxes, right? There should always be a big box representing the letter, whether it's, you know, whatever element it is or a particle. And then you have the top number and you have a bottom number. Now what, oop, and I want to make that bottom number a different color. Okay. So when we are trying to find out who this is, right, who this is, always treat this yield sign as an equal sign. So whatever to the left of the equal sign has to equal all of the right of the equal sign. And you just take it one step at a time. We work on the top numbers first, move on to the bottom numbers, and then you can find out what's going on. So let's look at the top numbers, right? So I want to find out what this top letter is or number. It's going to be a number. So let's see, I have 235 and maybe I'll make it the same color. We got 235 and 235 has to equal this, whoever that is, plus 135. And now that's coming in plus another one. But what does this four mean in front of it? And maybe what I'll do is I'll put that in blue. Well, this is a coefficient, right? So that means that you have four individual neutrons each have one as the top number. So this has to be multiplication. So if you have four neutrons and each neutron has a one, you have a top number of a four. So let's write that down. We have 235, and this has to equal the x value that we're trying to solve for. So I'll say x plus 135 plus 1 times 4 is 4. Let's, uh, I guess, you know, simplify that, right? So we have 235 equals x plus 139. And now I just want to solve for x. So let's subtract 139, 139. So whatever that is, right? And I might just do it the old fashioned way, right? We got five, so that's a 15, this is a two. So 15, that's a six. Oh boy, this is gonna be a one, so that's nothing. This is gonna be a 12. 12 minus three is nine. So let's just make this a little bit more pretty. Let's just see, we'll say 96. So X equals 96. I'm just gonna quickly add these two just to make sure I have 235. So this would be a five. Um, that's a one, that's a three. Yep, that makes sense. Okay, so 96. And then we'll say X equals 96. So we have a 96 number on the top. Now we're going to do the same thing and work with our bottom numbers. So maybe we'll put the bottom over here. So now I want to solve for this guy. So I have a 92. 92 has to equal whoever that is plus 55. And now plus zero, right? And you got four zeros. So just in case, we'll just put, it has to be multiplied. So, I mean, four times zero is still gonna be zero. So let's find it out. 92, as I write 96, 92 equals something plus 55 plus zero. But anything plus zero is just by itself. 
So now you can just subtract 55 on both sides and do it the old fashioned way. <laughs> um, let's see. We have 9 minus 5. Actually, I'm going to do it a different way. I like, I like doing it this way. 9 minus 5 is 4. 2 minus 5 is a negative 3. So that should mean that it's 40 minus 3, which is a, what is that? 40 minus 3 is a 37. Let's see if this way worked. No idea. Just making it up as I go. 55 plus 37 is, let's see, 7 plus 5 is a 2. That's a check. That's an 8. That's a 9. Beautiful. So we got 37. And we'll say x equals 37. And that's the number on the bottom. But now, what element is this? Well, always the lower number is going to get you there. In this case, it's the 37 because that's the atomic number. And remember, all elements have its own unique atomic number. No two atoms have the same atomic number. So I have to look for all my whole numbers to get to number 37. And number 37, whoop, right over here. It's rubidium, RB. And that is the missing link. So we have a 96 on the top, we have a 37 on the bottom, and RB. And I hope that, I mean, I hope this works, because generally rubidium is like a 86, 85. We have a 96. Did I do anything wrong here? Should it be an 86? I'm just checking. Right? Maybe. Let's just see. If I do 235, 235 minus 139, I do get 96, so I guess that's just the luck of the draw. Always trust your instincts and trust your gut, right? So that concludes this video. I hope this helped. Let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for viewing the video. Subscribe to the channel, and I look forward to helping you with more questions. And we opened up memberships for the channel for the new uh, school semester. If you want to help us out, you know, help the channel out a little bit more. Thank you so much. And I'll talk to you soon, okay? I hope you have a great day. Bye-bye.